she's always like yelling at him or like ruining the fun. But what would make you think um, you could speak to another human being like that? None of your friends like her. None of you. Everybody around. Anytime mm. anybody's around you, everybody. Time somebody comes to visit you, they got to tiptoe around your wife because she's she's reckless and she's disrespectful. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. I got my brother and his wife uh -huh. coming in for the holidays okay. in the next couple weeks. And honestly, I find his wife like a really unlikable person. Okay. I feel like. Um, I feel like some of that, I'm probably being a little arrogant. I'm just like, what do you find? Know, uh, what like what do you find about her that's unlikable? She's always like yelling at him or like ruining the fun. Mm. Not like you know, she's not that bad, but she'll like ruin the fun, and she's just, I don't know, doing a whole bunch okay, of. Okay, here's here's stuff. here's. I'm gonna tell. This is a very interesting thing because I'm I I actually just. I just kind of ended a friendship with a friend of mine that I've been friends with for 20 years, and it's because his, his, because his wife is disrespectful. Um, mm -hmm. You know, she is, she was disrespect. she's always been disrespectful to him. She, he never, you know, they've been married years and years and years. He never cheated on her, never gave a reason to cheer, cheat on her, or whatever, but she's always been obnoxious. Um, she's always butt into his friends and butt into his business and so on and so forth and because she she didn't respect she doesn't respect him she's not going to respect me because i'm an extension of him do you find that to be the case that she's a little disrespectful or or that it bleeds off into you i do i, I feel that way i feel like she is um i feel like she's disrespectful i mean she's putting up with a lot too you know they got two kids um actually three kids they okay got three kids. but you understand this mm -hmm. is not these are not your kids yeah yeah and you understand sure. that she didn't have these kids didn't just show up at her door she had these kids right she laid down had sex yeah. uh nine months incubated them she had them and so we have to understand something that my, just because you know when we make decisions there are consequences to those decisions and and your consequence to your decisions is not my burden right and I mm. basically ended the friendship with a good friend of mine because of the fact that um, he doesn't have the balls. Gybb won't get his balls back, and he won't. He won't. Mm. He won't even create a, a line, a uh, divisive line between her and so she butts in. And 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 actually, when we ended the friendship, I basically told him, I said, you know, none of your friends like her. None of you. Everybody around. Anytime mm. anybody's around you, everybody. Time somebody comes to visit you, they got to tiptoe around your wife because she's she's reckless and she's disrespectful. And you don't have the balls to tell her mind her, ba mind her damn business, and you don't have the balls to ta to make her respect you. Now, here's the, saying that to say this: he has to be comfortable with that. Like this is the woman mm. that he married, right? Yeah, he is. So, yeah. so it's not like he's ending the marriage. I mean, clearly, even if he was, you know, upset with the way that he's being treated, right? He probably wouldn't. He probably shouldn't have had two more kids after the first one, right? So, <laughs> he's, I'm more upset than he is. I think. And that's the point. You, so you get guys who 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 want to be cucked. You know, they want somebody mm. to tell them what to do. They they have low self-esteem and they want some woman to tell them and treat them like trash and stuff. I know that sounds like did, did let me ask you this. Did you did was your mom overbearing? Uh, a bit, yeah. Oh, uh, there you go. So this is so <laughs> so what did he do? He just all he did was marry your mom. Uh -huh, I see, I see. He, he married your point. mom, and and so the the represent and this is why it's so intricately and it's it's just fascinating to me that the representation of what womanhood is to him is this woman who's overbearing and probably she probably gave your pops a lot of shit too, right? Um, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah. I, it's like I was not, in that. Not, you know, it's not. She's not too bad. Both my mom and this, you're not too bad. But they're they're like that though. They're not like they could be not likable at times you know right things. because so, because yeah. they've because your dad never put your mom in her place and and his yeah. happiness yeah. wasn't and your brother's not doing the same thing um yeah, so i right. don't know i mean this is who this is what her constitution is and this is his choice um again yeah. i don't let nobody i don't let nobody i don't let your bullshit bleed in on me so does she scream at you 
And is she disrespectful to you? Mm, you know, no, it's not that. I just, I do. I kind of get involved a bit. Like, I, I don't like, you know, I wish, I wish, I, they're not my kids. You know, I can't, she, I can't do anything. He likes like, it, man. He mm -hmm. likes it. He loves it. Like, this, that's what he wants his life to be. So you uh -huh. got to love him enough to let him, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. I know you want your brother, your brother to be, you know, stand up and speak up for himself. But if he if he's loving this, like, I mean, we're, we're not talking about just this is a new relationship. We're not talking about one kid. We're talking about he went back in this well three more times. Mm -hmm. He loves it. Mm -hmm. I get that you don't. But it's 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 also not your wife. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I would say. I would say, look, I, I think that you can still set the boundaries. Like, I don't know if you were listening early and somebody was talking to me about, a, you know, a coworker that was over talking him stuff. You can, you, I mean, I've, I've done this plenty of times. I've been out on dates with somebody who was disrespectful and I would go, I would go, what would make you think that um, you could speak to another human being like that? What? Mm -hmm. What do you What do you mean? I, I'm I'm curious. I go because I I'm offended by what you said, but I'm I'm curious to know what would make you think that that's okay to treat somebody that way is okay. And all of a sudden, it's mm -hmm. almost like armadillo, armadillo. It it changes the whole course because now I'm asking you a question. Now you have to think of well, what do you mean? I'm not. I'm I, no. You are. You are. You're. You're. A lot of times, you're unpleasant. It's unpleasant to be around you. It's uncomfortable to be around you. Now, look, I mean, don't get me wrong. There may be a situation where she might get mad and be like, I don't ever, I'm not never coming in, whatever. <laughs> I mean, the, the question is, the point is this. Either you're going to speak up and say, I mean, if she's not being disrespectful to you, you got to understand. I know that's hard to believe, but he loves it, man. I had an uncle who, you know, he was married twice and both of his wives worked him to death. So he, he was working until he was 85 years old. And she was like, she was spending his money. And then and then when he divorced the first one at 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 60 something, he married another old battle axe bitch who just ran his life. Every you know what I'm saying? Some dudes like like, like to get pegged, bro. <laughs> you know, and it I agree, and you can't you, you know what I'm saying? You you I understand that you want better. I gotta you. back off. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's not your. It's not your fight, dog. It is your fight if she's disrespectful, and if she is being disrespectful, you got to check her. Uh, mm -hmm. Or if she's making every, if she comes over and makes everybody uncomfortable, then I mean, that's that's when it starts to affect you. But he, you know, yeah. he he wants to get whipped. You know, that's why he cho chose mm -hmm. the women. It's not. I mean, you know, how long they've been together? Three kids. They gotta been together at least five, seven years. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Six years, seven years. I yeah. Think, actually. So he, you know, it's his choice. It ain't yours. I get that it's not yours, but it's a, it's um, you know, you, I'll practice that. I'll practice kind of distancing myself. Yeah. From, I, emotionally. Here's, from I, and I'll tell you something else. And is and you know, I'm older, and so maybe this is not, maybe not. How old are you? Twenty one. Okay. Yeah. So you're a young dude. So I get it, man. But, um, man, I don't, I don't, man. I just, uh, you know. <laughs> I, I say this all the time. I mean, as a, as as empathetic as I am, you know, I had no relationship with my uh, with, with my two older sisters. And when my older sister passed away, my sister called me up and she was like, she was like, um, you know, she's crying. She's like, my younger sister called me. Said, you know, you know she, my sister Sharon died, and I was like, my condolences. Yo, I gotta go. SpongeBob is on because we didn't have a relationship. So I'm as ice cold as I am warm. But I'm not. I'm at a place also where I will not let your nonsense bleed into my life. I have seen more sunsets than I'm gonna see, and I'm not gonna waste mm -hmm. them on people that that don't bring value to my life. Is a crazy thing. Um, when I was your age, um, I, I I didn't take a lot of shit when I was even your age. But when I got older, when I got around 35, 40, I was like, I'm no longer gonna have friends of mine that cost me something. Right. So I'll keep my neutral friends and then I'll keep my my good friends. Right. And I cut off all the people that were like were a burden to my friendship. And then when I got when I when I turned like 45, I was like, even the people that are neutral in my life, they're still a burden because time is the commodity. 
So if you're not making my life better, I don't want you in my life. It, it, you're, because time is, is, is finite, and, I'm, and you're eating up time without adding something to my life. So I, inch, I, I got rid of all the neutral friends, too. And so, mm. but I mean, when you're 21, you, 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 know I mean? you feel like life is going to last forever, and it's not. And so, but the quicker you learn that, you know, you got to make your life look the way you want it to be. You got to, you know, because just as quick as there's happiness, there's sadness around the corner. It, all, all of those things, like, think about this. Music is, is noise and silence. Without the space between the notes, it's just noise. It only becomes music when there's space between the no between the notes. You understand? So mm -hmm. even when there's good things, there's you, you need a reference point. You need a negative reference point to know how good the things are. And when you mm -hmm. start to understand that, and you understand that time and life is finite. You stop wasting it on people that don't matter. Make sense? Makes sense. Fight uh, your fight, I appreciate man. Appreciate it. Fight your fight. Don't. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know. Stay out of that. Thank you. Uh, Yo, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and send it. Tell people we're on here every Tuesday at eight thirty. We were trying to we was on time tonight. I think we were two minutes late. Something something like Mike. Mike but was, in all fairness, you were busy consulting. Yeah, we was help, I, I, somebody was broken. We needed to help them. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. We we get ready to do. God, we're gonna go live with Godfrey. And in Godfrey, we trust in a minute. Don't forget to like and subscribe, Man School 202. Consultations, DanteNero.com. Click on consult the Dante Nero on Instagram, Facebook, Dante Nero, whatever, whatever. Google me, bitch. Yo, thank you for calling calling in, y'all. Thank you for all the love and everything and all the, all the information. Yo, I love y'all. We are out.